everyone and welcome to Franca's Fab Family and on this video I'm going to show you how you categorize your refrigerator to put away all the items that you just bought after a large grocery shopping. If you remember in a recent video I showed you how to clean your fridge so there's nothing better than putting new groceries in a new refrigerator. So check out that video below, the link is attached below and then now I'm going to show you how to organize your refrigerator. So your vegetables last longer, your children are more likely to go into the refrigerator and pick up a carrot stick as well as it will inspire you to cook new and fresh meals. So check us out. Here we're going to start with all the vegetables, the produce and things that I have brought on this shopping trip. I also brought meats and fish and chicken and things like that but those are in the in the sink and I'm gonna deal with those later but first I have to pack away everything I really like to organize everything and I like to make things look pretty I just think it inspires you it makes you want to use it want to touch it you will see that throughout all of my videos right so colorful everything is always normally colorful so I will put all the peppers all the different varieties of peppers that I purchased in one container. So when you go in my fridge, it will be one container of just peppers. Then, oh, some items, I really don't like a lot of plastic bags in my refrigerator. While plastic bags keep some vegetables um, longer, it also spoils some. So it's good that you know which vegetables last longer. But for me, this on this shopping trip, I got snow peas. This bag is totally sealed. A quick trick, if you're not gonna transfer this to a Ziploc breathing bag or a mesh bag, you just poke a couple holes in the bag. And you know you have to use this within like a week or something or a couple of days depending. So I'll let, I will put this in the fridge, but the bag has holes now, so that's good. I also do it with a broccoli bag. I will cut some holes in it. That would allow the broccoli to breathe. I find if you don't let the broccoli breathe, it really gets brown quickly. It, it, it goes bad quickly. So, But this again is another item that we would use relatively within the next day or two. The carrot bags, if you notice, the carrot bags already come prepared for you. They have little tiny holes in it, so you don't have to really worry about that. I just put that in one of the drawers. You'll see later. I like fresh okra. Sometimes you get fresh okra, fresh asparagus, things like that. I don't leave those in the plastic bag. It reminds me that I need to use it within a day or two. Um, it's quite a costly, I would say one of the more costly vegetables to purchase, so you, wanna, you don't want to waste these. If you put these in the drawer and you put them in a bag, you're more likely to forget them. Whereas if you put them, when you open the fridge, when you're thinking of what to cook today, oh, the asparagus, I'm going to cook those tonight. So with the okra, their shelf life is not that long. I find in these containers, something like okra, they will rot in the bottom a whole lot faster if you keep them in this container. So I will cut them out. And again, just because I have a lot of glass dishes, and you can find these glass dishes anywhere. You can find them like even in the dollar store if you had to. They'll be a different kind, of course, but you can find them anywhere. So I would put all of the okra in here. And again, I just think it makes it look nice. So we do that. Then the garlic. The garlic normally, I, I buy the pre-peeled garlic. It's fresh. Um, of course, it'll never be as fresh as if you peel the shell off of a garlic that is a fresh um, bowl. But... You don't always have the time for that. The amount of garlic I use to cook with, I'd rather just buy a pre-peeled bag, but I don't like it in the plastic bag because I find it dries it out. So I will put it in another container. This has a breathable top. So you could just, so it'll get some air and it just looks nice. So it's more organized in the refrigerator. Now, because I just want to cross reference how you can actually keep your fridge a little bit cleaner is by doing some simple tricks. My mother showed me this one with the onions. I was an adult. I was an adult actually one time she came over and we bought a bag of onions and she said, Franca, do you know if you take all of the skin off or not all enough, you take all of the loose skin off the onions, all of this garbage won't be in your drawer. So the next time you go to clean the fridge, you won't have all of that dead skin that just falls off. So you open your bag of onions 
And if you have loose skin, you don't take it all off because the onion will dry out. It's like, you instead of leaving on a, a sloppy winter coat on the onion, you're leaving on like a um, like tights and a t-shirt or something. It still protects it, but it doesn't leave the mess with all the extra items, all the extra clothes in your um, in your drawer. I make references to clothes all the time, so you gotta forgive me. I think it makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, you see. So now I would have done this with the onions, all of them. You see the mess? That mess is not not it's not gonna go in the refrigerator. So then I would toss all of this. One of the starch items that I use a lot as well um, is potatoes. I find that the red potatoes, the fingerling potatoes, the small potatoes, they they normally don't have as much dust on them like the rusket potatoes. Um, so these potatoes, strange enough, on a day like this, if you have time to save dirt and dust in the drawers of your refrigerator, you can either fill the sink, because I've done it when I've had time. I fill the sink with cold water. I've put all the potatoes in and I let my kids wash it. I'm like, who's gonna wash the potatoes this time? And they love it. You'll see them swishing around in all the potatoes and everything like that. And then you put them on a rack to dry and then you put them in the fridge. They'll last longer and they'll make less of a mess. But if you don't have time for that and not everyone has time for that, you just quickly wipe off all the extra dust all the extra dust that be on the potatoes, that's on the potatoes. So, and it's quick, it doesn't take long. Imagine I'm doing a video of real time showing you and it's like, it doesn't take that long. It doesn't take that long for how much it'll save you. And we're getting corn, corn is in season. Anaya love corn. So I like to get the fresh corn over the frozen corn or definitely canned corn. This is a, this is like, a fridge nightmare. The husk of a corn have the hair, it have the shell, and sometimes it has all the dirt. You don't put this in your fridge. You can, the corn funny enough will last longer if it's in this, but because it's fresh vegetables, you wanna try to eat it as soon as possible. So you actually, when you take this off, you know you have just pretty much allowed it to possibly age twice as fast because it's no longer in the protective skin. But this makes a mess in your fridge. And when you go to your fridge, are you more likely to pick up this or this to cook tonight? I think I'm more likely to pick up this, especially if I'm tired coming home, you know, from work or whatever the situation is. So this is another chore I give the children. When they're home with me, I will be like, okay, you gotta husk it, and sometimes the stores even let, let you take this off in the store so you don't come home with it at all. And the last thing I do, remember fresh herbs? I have a lot of fresh herbs every shopping. They're like your fresh flowers. What do we do when we get fresh flowers? We cut off the, the bottom so it can drink, and we put it in a bowl with fresh water. And that makes them last twice as long, sometimes three times as long. So if you don't have a plant, or you're not gonna use all of this, I have dill, Italian cilantro, and curly parsley, and Italian parsley. These are the three things that I have. I have cabbage and ginger. Oh, one last thing I wanna remind you. A lot of us cook with celery. Do you know how much dirt hangs about in the bottom of celery? Sometimes I would just rinse off the celery base, give it a pre-rinse before I put it in the fridge. I really just do the base. I won't do the whole head because you'll have water everywhere and I really don't have time to dry a whole celery stalk. But I will rinse it off and I will put it back in the bag. But make sure when you take it out to cook, it is critical that you still wash every single stalk because down there is more than likely filled with dirt. I have yet to find a celery head that did not have that amount of, of dirt in the bottom of it. So bear that in mind. So, and then I'll put away my eggs with, you know, with, with whatever items and whatever else I have. So I am now gonna place all of these things in the refrigerator and you're gonna see how, how 
how they look in the fridge and how they're easy to get to and how they will inspire cooking and inspire picking. I normally buy an avocado, one that is ready to eat today and then one that is more firm that'll give me another day or two. So I keep the avocados out of the refrigerator because I like them room temperature and I find that when you put leave them out, they just age better, they have a better flavor. But this brings me over to fruits and vegetables. I love when I go grocery shopping and the new fruits and vegetables that come into the house for that week or that month or whatever is really amazing. I always display them on the counter. When we're eating dinner, I take some and I put them you know, on the table because what happened is that we eat with our eyes and if you can just see what you have and it's in an inviting way, you will definitely eat. And I think that my children, they, my children eat fruits, they eat vegetables and people are always asking me how in the world you have like four year olds or six year olds that eat salad. We will go to a restaurant and they would order a salad with, with salmon or fish or whatever. They've just been conditioned to like health, to like order, and to like fruits and vegetables and one of the main reason is because they see with their eyes and they just get to see it so we get to see it so now I am going to put everything in the fridge and you're gonna see how that how that looks I normally put my onions and stuff and I buy two or three different onions even if it's just one because they have different vitamins but I put the onions in a drawer. I find again that they just keep longer. The potatoes as well. I put the potatoes and what I consider to be root vegetables. In the Caribbean we eat like tanya, um, um, sweet potato, regular potato, those type of things. I will group those things together because they for well, lack of a better term, they are on the same frequency. They are root vegetables. They have the same temper temperament, the same temperature. They age more or less the same and things like that. So if you keep them together, they will last longer together compared to putting your potatoes with like a corn. This would allow the corn to decompose faster or something like that. I just find that it's better to organize your vegetables in a way in which they grow. So fruits and vegetables that grow on a tree, I would put those to hang out together. Just like the herbs, they're like flowers. I put those together. <laughs> so these are really good. They'll last very long. Now the corn, because I do want to cook this relatively soon, and I've taken out all of the hairs or most of the hairs, I can easily put this here and it'll still be good for quite a while. I have to close the fridge. Open back up the fridge a little bit. I have two different kinds of potatoes. I have the red ones and I have the regular rusted potatoes. I will put all of those together. I will put those together. What's good about this refrigerator, it gives me another compartment. So on this side, I will put the limes or citrus if I was putting the oranges in the refrigerator like let's say they had a really big orange sale and I ended up buying two or three bags we won't be able to eat all of that in a couple days so I will put store some in the refrigerator and leave some out on the counter so here's the okra these are the bagged vegetables remember I would put them together on their own because they would also age at the same pace so all of these so all of the bagged items I would put in the other drawer. Yeah, I think I have, is that about it? I have the asparagus. If you have more trays like this, you can put them in if you don't want to put them on the counter, but the fridge is clean, so all is well. Ginger, I would put the ginger as a root vegetable is it a vegetable? Is ginger a vegetable? I gotta look that up. It's a or herb or something. That might be silly, but I have to look that up. I wanna find out what category ginger falls into because I use that a lot. Cabbage, put that in the back. Then you have your garlic, milk, eggs, kiwi, plantain. 
has it planted. It's the kiwi. I need a little bit more space. Either I can put it here or I can put it in the back. The kiwis don't last long because the children really, really like kiwis. So I don't have to worry about that. But look at the refrigerator. Not only is it clean, it's inviting, it's categorized. You're able to find whether it's your condiments or your sauces or spices or hot sauce or ketchup or whatever. And everything is inviting. So even if I sent the children to go get something for me, they can easily find it. And when you open a fridge like this, you are more likely to cook a fresh meal for your family. 